Hi, this is Ryan from ModWatch, and I'm going to be showing you how to install your own antenna, your own internet frequency if you're using a uh, dish or a uh, satellite. Um, this is how you can avoid the three or four hundred dollar fees from uh, the satellite companies and the local peer-to-peer -peer companies. Uh, they apparently charge about eighty-five dollars an hour, um, when all you really need is about, uh, you know, how many ever feet of conduit. Uh, half inch conduit works fine, a 4x4 four 4, 10 foot post, and some Cat5. Of course, you're going to need to know how to terminate Cat5, cat but if you buy the little Cat5 jacks at the store, um, they have a wiring diagram on them, so it makes it really easy. Um, anyway, to the fish Cat5, um, you can use a pole. I've got a fish stick. This is just a uh, one of the basic tools I use pretty much every time I do a job, uh, wiring job anyway. And so I don't even put them together yet. Uh, the conduit stays separated until I get that rung of wire put through it. And after I pull that section, then I will come here and uh, sometimes I will use a little bit of a sealant. here just an electrical sealant, liquid tape, um, and I will brush that around here, um, which I'm not going to do quite yet because I haven't fished it, and this thing is a little bit sticky, oh, here we go. Um, so basically I would just use this, this is white, you can get black, doesn't really matter, it's going underground. Um, same thing though, and you know you want to stir it up and brush it on there and then put this conduit piece into it um, and then move on to the next section and do the same. So you do it bit by bit and uh, then when you fish it through your wall obviously I'll uh, do a little scene on that next but it's just basically po punching a hole through your wall I use a half inch uh, drill bit, wood drill bit and um, I'll go through the wall and I'll usually use a conduit or a small pipe and I'll stick that um, that Cat5 through, and then I'll terminate it after I've ran all the wire to where it needs to go. Terminate it with a jack, put a biscuit on it so it looks pretty. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, you know, mount it wherever you want, and it just this is a lot more convenient than having somebody in your house, in your business, you know, and having to wait for them. Maybe they're on time, maybe they're not, maybe they're going to cancel. Uh, but if you just want to do this yourself, this is how you do it. You save yourself $85 an hour at about three or four hours. Um, next step after this will be mounting the dish, and that's where I get my radio signal from. So, hope you enjoyed my video. Have a great day. This is Ryan at ModWatch, and I'm just uh, finishing up this job, and I wanted to show you the progress and uh, how we've completed this and you know what the final results are. So, we moved this... Um, dish and this pole from over by my barn which is about 500 yards away um, I don't know if you can see it over here uh, but it's uh, well you, you really can't but it's over that direction and uh, it was behind so many things and it wasn't properly lined up with the towers and I, I wish I could show you the towers but they're so far away that you know I can barely see it with the naked eye and uh, without any kind of zoom lens on this camera right now, I'm not going to be able to show you. But um, now I've got it perfectly lined up with that um, tower. And then, you know, what I've learned is that you need to tilt this down, um, tilt this uh, dish down so that it kind of scoops the signal. And then the um, antenna there uh, shoots it back towards the towers in such a way that, you know, it's hitting the towers almost directly. Uh, so that scooping is really important, you know, not, not to have it just a uh, 90 degree angle or whatever. Um, and I buried it, I used conduit, uh, you know, just some PVC conduit with some uh, weather protection so it uh, doesn't get any ingress or anything like that, solar ingress or RF ingress from other uh, signals, you know. Um, it's, it's best to protect your wire whatever you can. So I did that and then you know I just kind of stuck it into the side of my house here over by the living room. 
and uh, put a jack and a biscuit on it and call it good. Uh, another couple of things you're going to need to know is you're going to need to get a Cat5 crimper. You can get those at Home Depot or Lowe's. Usually Ideal has a good set of crimpers for about $35. Um, you're going to need a wiring diagram, which I'm going to post up here in just a second. It should be on the screen. Um, check out that wiring diagram. Uh, this is from memory, but it goes orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown for a 568B connection. You might want to look up 568B uh, termination or connection or Cat5 something with 568B in the search terms on Google and you can find yourself a wiring diagram. Uh, crimp it to a male connector for you know RJ45 or Cat5 um, and uh, you're gonna have to do that on both ends with these um, particular models. Uh, you can use a female uh, jack and biscuit on the inside um, uh, after you put it through your surge protection. They have like a little uh, search protector for ethernet um, that they install with this receptor so you're going to need to um, just follow the diagram it's it's pretty simple and you know I don't, I don't mean to make this sound overly simple I have a lot of years of experience doing this I've done this for about 11 years um, I've worked for four ISPs I used to be an ISP my company was an ISP uh, well in fact we still do ISP work uh, tpnetworks.net uh, you can see that uh, on the internet, you see kind of what, we have, what we're up to. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and write us. Um, you can also visit modwatch.com. Basically, I'm doing a bunch of tutorial videos just to kind of help people out uh, on modwatch.com. It's all free. There's never going to be a membership. You're, you're always, you're always going to have access to that. Or you can see us on YouTube at modwatch, um, youtube.com forward slash modwatch. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to keep making these videos, trying to help people out, uh, show different techniques to simple technical issues. Um, next thing we'll show you is our DDWRT um, firmware that we've installed on a Linksys router uh, that gives better signal gain for your wireless network at home, your WLAN at home. Uh, and it you know can be combined with some very cool components to make a very neat actual server, mini server, uh, that does a lot of things like streams music over your internet connection. You can listen to it on your cell phone or whatever. Uh, you can, uh, you know, store files there. Um, it's pretty neat little setup. So DDWRT will be the next video. Uh, we hope to see you there. Uh, peace out.